Okay, so you know what? Since this was the video about the Israeli state, uh, and I couldn't access a blogger, I decided I'm going to give a little help, assistance. To the people in Slovenia, to the people in Israel, in Poland, and in Ukraine that are working so hard. It's a Firefox. Yeah, cool. About the Firefox, this. This is a Firefox. Okay, this is a Firefox as you see here. And this here, this is an Opera browser. And there's actually really no reason for me not to be able to access Blogger right now. I'm gonna put it simple like this. There's really no reason for me to have no ability to access Blogger right now. What for? Why? <laughs> why have I managed to access the Blogger right now? I'm gonna tell you why. Now I managed to access the Blogger because of this thing here. Because I locked myself also inside of the Firefox. Because that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to demonstrate that during the recording of this video even the browser was blocked from having the ability to access Blogger. So I'm gonna give an educated assistance to the Israeli state, to the Slovenia, to the Ukraine and also to Poland. To demonstrate me as a paranoid schizophrenic, yes. I'm trying to help you out, don't you understand? I'm helping you out, best of my abilities. Because that's who is holding this case backwards, together with Russia and with the Serbia. That's who's sitting in my grave for no less than 28 years now. And I want to make myself think as clear as possible. How did you not going to think under any circumstances that the browser that you watched earlier and I couldn't access one? That I maybe cleared the cache or something of it? No, I did not. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to do this in educated way, the whole thing. like this I'm gonna go here as a matter of fact I don't even need to do this I can just do it like this here where you can clearly see everything is here I did not clear anything all the history everything I have gone through is here I did not clear anything not cookies, not shit. That's what I'm trying to go next to. So, I'm just making my point that it's not okay to do this stuff like this to the people. While they are recording their stuff. Very recording one. To disturb, to disrupt, thinking patterns to do, to... Uh, to... Keep an individual in the world, in MK Ultra world, in this case you created. There is no, there is no need for this. Hey, I don't want to waste my time with this shit no more. I'm going to put it this way. Because this stuff is missing from the video. This individual here, this Pollock, who video recorded this stuff. This individual was a Polish fascist who death threatened me during MK Ultra. If I'm going to be talking against the Israeli state. This was one of the. This is this is one of the people who was involved in MK Ultra 
on behalf of the Israeli state and have done exactly what I stated. This, this is one that appears Israeli state hard. This terrorist Polish gave me the exact scenario even inside of this room about exactly what you see here about the car accident which he referred to as we are watching him and making notes on every step he does on his daily whereabouts because it was two Alfa Romeos Alfa Romeo because Alfa Romeo is always the one I promoted during MK Ultra. And whenever accident, whenever crime the Polish state would commit to alert me I'm doing something wrong, it was always death threats, they would be using Alfa Romeos. That's how the Polish state did this on behalf of the Israel. Pollocks lobbied for the Israel and this is a very very bad news for the Ukraine next to the news I have earlier stated about Zelensky. Keep in mind, Mouth, actually, keep in mind the one that is filling your mouth, the one that is giving you handouts for you to exist before you start to disseminate and distribute bullshit like this. This Polish news here is a very negative news for the people of Ukraine, by the way. But let's go on. And it is coming from Israel. For this crime, they totally described me how. Demonstrate me how it's going to be. So you can see that. Record video. Uh, this individual stated me when he will stop the vehicle the vehicle the camera will be no longer filming the vehicle on that opportunity which he would go to the car and kill the person this was the death threat uh, of the Polish state against me. They have exercised in MK Ultra on a multitude of occasions, on at least I would refer to this incident here, 10 occasions. Exactly what you see here. Whether it was a real guy who have um, gotten himself into this accident, I do not know. They, however, have described me, demonstrated me, brought me to this location here that you see I did not understood what the fuck went on what what went on so you're talking clearly about the Polish police you're talking about the Polish police here and that threatened me if I will be talking against the Israel la 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 what is it gonna be like so I am uncertain whether this is the guy who was doing his daily whereabouts, but they did spoke about the daily whereabouts. Exactly his driving habits, exactly about his, um, you know, what he likes to do with a car and stuff like that. Um, it's like this. The question is the person who was driving this Alfa Romeo even liked still the Alfa Romeo. That's one thing, because if he did, it must have been at least 10 years that he owned this Alfa Romeo. This death threat goes way back to even maybe 2013, uh, earlier maybe time even. 
just about 2013. And the second thing is whether the person was even inside of the car. The car appears have somewhat not exactly done uh, safely a maneuver, overpassing maneuver. However, he did manage to merge back inside of the inside of his line, and then somehow miraculously have lost control over the vehicle, which could really be attributed to something else, as some sort of mechanical error on the vehicle. Regardless of it, the car, however, did stop. It might have been just a dummy in sight. It could have been that the car was a guided missile. It could have been the car was a drone. I should say semi-drone. I don't know. We don't know really what it is. What it says is that on yesterday's date, a driver was killed in an accident. And this is the only guy who did flip with the car and which car damages would not necessarily result in a death. So what I'm going to do is, at this point, I'm going to replay this thing here. Then we're going to go to the next... Then I'm going to take you to the next MK Ultra Alfa Romeo death that also was involved in it. I ci powiem, że jak ja próbowałem to na własnym wiesz, sposobie wprowadzać w życie, czyli poszedłem do mopsu, do opieki, tu, tamto, wiesz, podjąłem się pracy nawet na... Nie, ale wariat. Straszne. Normalnie tutaj, aż go zarzuciło. O, i... O, Record video. Zatrzymamy się. Pomóc mu. Ja jestem ratownikiem medycznym, stracił przytomność. O, Dobra, ja wyskoczę. Stoisz? Tak, tak, stoję. If there was a person truly killed inside of the car, this person almost 100% was murdered by the Polish police yesterday. You are also able to see that car almost have come to stop in respect to the speed before one flipped over. Uh, it's the kind of damage. I would say most certainly would not result in death. I once did flip over with a car and it was a Fiat 126. Uh, with my friend None of us even had a scratch. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that something like that you have seen cannot result in a deadly injury. I'm not saying this. This is definitely not for me to say that something like this could not result in an injury, uh, in a death injury. Uh, however, because of what I stated, I am 100% that if there was a real person killed in there, it was assassination by the Polish police that was done. These are all the deaths 
that they listed at MSN. Uh, so that doesn't matter. That really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they list. But they were very sensitive to Alfa Romeo. Uh, Pollux hated Alfa Romeo because because Alfa Romeo apparently uh, according to the Pollux uh, was a neo-Nazi car and that's why I said this is a very very bad news for Ukraine when you're gonna start to rate those that are helping you out and talking also to Pollux to exist on the face of the planet those that expanded industry to you that reached out to you to help you out it's going to be a very very fucking bad day when they turn their back to you uh, now the Pollux wanted a part of Ukraine this is no secret Pollux wanted to broker the the Ukraine and I clearly pointed out that Zelensky was a Polish broker more than anybody's broker Vladimir Zelensky was a Polish broker Vladimir Zelensky wanted to sell Ukraine he wanted to broker Ukraine between the Russia and between the West keep confidential about military uh, war weapon trade prior to the war in Ukraine with Russia for the sake of the war in Ukraine he wanted to silently seal the deal that's why I don't trust one also mainly why till I see the Ukraine liberated till I see Ukraine as a sovereign state as I have described in an earlier video He's not going to get any green lights from me. I've not seen a liar like Zelensky in my lifetime. He lied about absolutely everything. He's a multimillionaire who claimed to me for God knows how long. Uh, he had nothing. He was all the time about nothing. He did have me in Italy in his villa. But it was all about nothing. When in fact the fucking guy is drowning in money. Mm -hmm. It's a very bad news for Ukraine. And I call the countries that assisted Ukraine to think about what I listed to you in a prior video in respect to the roof. Fire. Taking down your roof over your heads don't let it go every square meter of ukraine that is lost jewel such as crimea it's coming out of your pocket it's coming it's coming out at your expense don't haggle don't negotiate for something with someone who worked against you for hundreds of years Russia hunted not only people of Ukraine but Europe for quite some time. Do business with those that strive toward your way of life, not with the terrorists. So this year, this was another one, another Alfa Romeo. This type of uh, Alfa Romeo debt, debt threats from Poland, however, started with a crime which involved the driver. Who 
people drowned by driving it into Vistola River. And they have discovered one, pulled one from the river after I don't know how many years. And it's something I already have written about. Is it Vistola River or whatever river it is? This is something I already have written about on the blog. I already have described the incident. Individual who supposedly was on his way to the bank and left the widow behind. Uh, was an individual who also was involved in MKUltra. Uh, I don't know about precisely who this individual was killed in Alfa Romeo, uh, either of the two, but apparently that these people too were involved in MKUltra. So the Polish police definitely is in a death threats mode and the sale of Ukraine still didn't cease to exist. So why don't you guys rather concentrate on facts on what it matters than, steer, than to steer people in a wrong direction. This is another warning to the state of Israel. I was your slave, your war slave, for 28 years. For 28 years you were signing a contract inside of this room that were so lucrative to you that were more lucrative to you than your entire industry non-military based industry in state of the Israel through which you have made money historically in existence in time of Israel and it's something Americans and also British and others have warned you about to stay the fuck away from don't get on my way do your stuff and stop lobbying for the serbia and for the russia <laughs>